everybody, welcome to another video from Travel Attic Guy, Bienvenido. And behind me is this really cool ship. Oh my God, it's awesome. It's a Spanish galleon. It's a replica, exact replica. And they actually made a few of them, I think, and they're traveling around the world. And it's in Malaga right now. And this is the same ship, exact replica of what Christopher Columbus sailed across and found the found the new world, found America on. So that's it behind me. So we're gonna explore it today, we're gonna show it to you. Can't wait to do that. So let's go. I'm here with a friend here, and your name, sir? Javier. Javier, okay, yes, I'm here with Javier, and he works on the ship. And yes. uh, you're a Spanish man, or? Yes, I am. Okay, so cool, man. And uh, so, what's the deal on this? Uh, this is exact replica of the ship that Cristobal Colon, or? No, named no, this is this is a galleon. This is a commercial boat, American boat from Spain, and they used to do some routes, uh, commercial routes, okay. between America and Asia. Okay, so it's not the same one that uh, Christopher Columbus sailed on and discovered the new world? It's not the same No, type? it's not the same. I mean, this is after. This is after Columbus. Oh, shit. I was yeah. mistaken. Okay, so this... Okay, so who sailed on this? Explorers, maybe? Or it's in, uh, just uh, it was used for commerce? Were, they were just passengers, a uh, crew that they wanted to do some money, to make money, and... Okay. And so, and what, some, what, so much cargo. What year would this have been used in? What year? Yes, what uh, year? Yes, uh, the, la the last part of the 16th century okay, so. and the, the main part of 17th century. Okay, so like a hundred years after Cristobal Colón yes, or yes, Christopher yes, Columbus? Kind of, kind okay, of. so this ship is similar to the one Christopher Columbus came on or it's very different? No, it's, it's, the, it's so much bigger. It's so much bigger. It's bigger, really? Yes, yes, oh, wow. yes. Wow, so they were very brave to cross the, the, the yeah, sea. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's amazing, yes. man, how they set out like that. Wow, really yes. cool, okay. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. And uh, you're gonna show us some of the ship? Or? Yes, yeah. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's yeah, let's go. Hey, let's go with my friend here. He's gonna show it to us. Ah, this is really cool, man. And you guys, uh, you guys go sailing on this around the you you sail you sail on this ship uh, yes, right now. Yes. And yes, where do you every person who is here working is part of the crew. Awesome. And how long you you live on the ship for a while? Or? Uh, me exactly. Me. I'm two months and a half. Yeah, not so much. Okay, cool. And you're gonna be on it for more time, like six months? Yes, or? I expect to be at least uh, three months more. Okay. Yeah. And are you from uh, Andalusia? No, I'm from Murcia. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Murcia. Okay. Yes. Cool. Cool. Okay. So where are we now? We're in the forecastle. Okay. This is the the main part of the boat where they used to do the the watch. Okay. There was a Always a guy here and uh, telling what was happening uh, in the boat. The boat. Uh, if we had some pirates, some other boats. Ah, some pirates. Some oh man, we have to watch out for pirates. Exactly. Hey exactly. guys, we gotta watch out for pirates on this journey. It's very dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Back then they had no, no cell phone, no GPS, exactly. no computer, nothing. So how did they navigate this thing? Just by the stars or? Yes, they use the stars and the I don't know the name in English. It's loxodromica in Spanish. It's a type of uh, sailing. Okay between so much uh, mathematics and that ah, okay. kind of thing. So like some kind of device? Like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah. I think uh, I've seen that before, but uh, it's a little before my time. So very cool, very cool. Hey. How many sails does this ship have? How many sails? Yes, sails. Seven. Seven. Bailas. Yes. Seven, seven bailas. Seven. Seven. Ah, really cool. Wow. And that's how you guys sail? With, uh, you don't use any kind of uh, motor? You just use the, the... We have an engine. Okay. And if we don't, if we can't sail with the sails, we use the engines. Ah, oh, very cool, very cool. And uh, you climb up to that uh, observation yeah, point exactly. up there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They know. call that the crow's nest, yeah, I think, sorry, in English. Sorry for my, for my English. Ah, no problem. No, it's really uh, good, yes, man. Yes, the hartias is the name, the kind of uh, uh -huh. yes, structure for or climb. Okay. I think they call it the crow's nest. I've heard that in movies and things. So yes. I'm not sure. So mm -hmm. why yeah, they call it that, I don't know. It's a pirate pirate thing. Yeah, but this is used also now for, for climbing and ah, okay. to the to the kofas. Oh, really platforms. cool. Okay. And yeah, that's so cool, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, let's see something else now. Mm.
Okay. Oh, those are uh, some kind of uh, looks like some kind of uh, conquistador helmets mm -hmm. or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Very no, really cool, man. Okay, cool. Where he steers the ship, right? Yes, it is. Uh, this is the quarter deck. This okay. Is where we have the helm, the bridge, the, all the helps for the navigation. We have radar. We have radio. We have. Sure, it's uh, very difficult to yeah, yeah. to sail around, and it's not that easy to navigate. Well, nowadays, it's good. Nowadays, it's comfortable. Okay. If you like the sea, if you like the boats, it's a good, a good, a good way for. And you're taking this around the whole world, or? Yes, wow. yeah, this boat, this boat yeah. also we have, we have, we are like an association, a foundation, we have three boats, Okay. Uh, classic also, Okay. and yes, we we have one of them is in Puerto Rico, the other one is going ah, to... Ah, you shot to Puerto Rico? Yes. Ah, very cool. Yes. Ah, so if anybody in Puerto Rico, you're coming, you guys are coming to visit, right? <laughs> uh, yes, and now I, actually uh, I want to change to that boat because obviously it's in Puerto Rico. Ah, okay, story. okay. A good, uh, a good challenge, a good opportunity for yeah. also to do the same, but in other, in other place, in, in other country. Well, I feel like a pirate here. Arr, travel at a guy coming to you from the Spanish galleon. So I was wrong about Christopher Columbus. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my friend he corrected me. So, but uh, it was a little bit after, but a very similar ship, very cool, and uh, a little bit bigger actually than Columbus came on. So that's really. Really amazing that uh, he was uh, that brave to sail across the, the ocean uh, into the unknown with that, with the small ships. And what are these? These are awards that you guys earned or? This one? Uh, these different uh, plaques, what do they represent? Yeah, the main, the main harbors the, where we stayed, they... Ah, they give you something. Yeah, exactly. Ah, very it's cool. It's like a present. Ah, you got key to the city. Where is mm -hmm. that? Pensacola, that's in Florida. Wow, yes. very cool. Oh, you got the key to the city in Pensacola, Florida. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. You guys are doing really good. Wow. And uh, at one time they thought the Fountain of Youth was there, didn't they? Mm -hmm. The Spanish uh, explorers thought the Fountain of Youth was mm -hmm. in uh, Fuente de Juventud. Uh, you mm -hmm. say in Spanish? Yes. Was in uh, Florida. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, you guys in Pensacola, this uh, this ship has been there. So, you guys are going back to Pens uh, to Florida? No. Okay. No, because we uh, the boat stayed maybe one month before. Uh -huh. So they they are just going to the Panama Challenge in ta uh, Tunnel now in maybe uh, five days, something like that. And what other places are cool? Ah, New York. You've been to New York with mm -hmm. this thing? Yes, wow. Yes, of course. Oh my God, New York too. Oh, really cool. What part of New York? In the harbor? Yeah. Huh. Wow, this thing was all the way to New York. Wow, that's really cool. Hi to everyone in New York that's watching. Hong Kong. Wow, they've been to, to China as well. They've been to Hong Kong and to Shanghai. So wow, this oh. thing is really international. It's been everywhere. This is the Admiral's room. It's where they used to uh, have some meetings with uh, powerful people. Uh, ah, this is where we hang out, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, very cool, man. Look at that. Oh. Hey, there's my sword on the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're, I hope you have it in good condition for now. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, look at that. Wow, this is very nice, very luxurious. Wow. So if you were the if you were the elite, if you were the admirals, you were here in this quarters here. So in the the workers I guess were down below or swabbing the deck. So very cool. But uh, he just told me that this is, you know, everyone's heard of Spanish galleons and doubloons and this is what uh, used to carry all those uh, all that gold uh, across the sea. So uh, this is the kind of ship that if they find all that gold, the, the Spanish uh, the Spanish doubloons, uh, Spanish galleon uh, sunken with all the gold treasure, this is the kind of ship that they find. Whoa, this thing is heavily armed. It's got a lot of cannons, so <laughs> they were very serious about uh, pirates and things like that. If you came near this ship, uh, they would blow you out of the water, looks like to me. But uh, you can see behind me, they're showing some of the goods that they brought across. So beside gold and things, they had uh, different food, looks like nuts and grains and uh, maybe some rum here, I don't know, or something like that. Probably some rum from the island. The cocoa beans, looks like maybe, too, in the bag there. Coffee beans, could be that too.
So apparently not everything was all really fantastic on this voyage. Behind me, they're talking about some of the diseases and things, problems that they had. So this is kind of graphic here. Let's read this here. It says hygiene, hygiene and illness, the overcrowding on the ships of men with live animals, lice, fleas, and rats, and the lack of drinking water meant that hygiene was visibly lacking. Frequently, they suffered diseases such as the dreaded and deadly scurvy. Health, which was totally precarious, was in the hands of surgeons and barbers who could barely stitch wounds or perform bloodletting. Oh. Yeah, that uh, doesn't sound too good. Uh, if you got sick on this thing, you might have been shark food. Okay, so it's talking about the cannons here. We had five cannons on each side that fired cast iron balls weighing eight pounds, 3.91 kilograms, with a maximum range of 150 meters. So they had uh, pretty good firepower to defend themselves. Now that's a close-up of the cannon. And uh, there's the cannon, the cannon balls. Yeah, those look like they would do some damage. Another level down even. No, I guess it's the storage hold maybe. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. I don't think I like staying in here. Oh. Ah, these are some uh, footage it looks like of the the sailing but it's like to sail ah, pretty cool uh -huh. what kind of cargo would the ship uh, be uh, be ca uh, carrying mm -hmm. well if they were coming from Spain they had feed uh, they have for feeding the people they have food they have okay so uh, uh, living animals they have a lot ah, animals too yeah exactly like horses no more like uh, like cows, like ah, okay. uh, yes, chickens, yes, chickens. Okay. They, they, they did it normally. The the passengers uh, that were moving from Spain from from Spain to to America. And another question I want to ask you: uh, only men on the ship, no women? Yes. No. No, back then. Yes, yes, yes. No women were allowed. No women. No okay. Women. Only Bad men. luck. They said. Bad luck to have Bad a woman. They, they oh, said mm -hmm. you ladies were not allowed. To. <laughs> You're probably going to be upset about that. Bad luck, but I don't think it would be a good idea with a bunch of sailors and a woman on the ship. Yeah, it might be a problem. <laughs> nowadays, nowadays they, they are women, of course. They are, yes, of course. They, nowadays, in the yes. crew, we have women and. For, yes. for us it's the best yes. yeah very cool yeah nice cool and uh, gold they had gold on the ship or they had gold when they were coming oh. from, from america can i get a yeah, sample exactly. to take home <laughs> <laughs> just a few just a few coins is all i want exactly no, no. i think i no, I ah he's no, got some there <laughs> only silver only silver <laughs> ah very cool man yeah okay and the gold would have been carried in a chest or no, they they had all the gold in the in the hole downstairs. But like in chess, like in the movies, like in a big chest, uh, in a caja. Yes, it depends. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate uh, you being in my video. You're Thank very you very welcome. much, and I That's hope everyone pleasure. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Yeah, and uh, please, if you did, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that, and uh, follow these guys. Do you, you guys have a website or something they can um, they can uh, check out this uh, ship if they want more information? Yeah, I have Instagram, but uh, yes, it's Galeon Andalucia is the name of the Instagram. Ah, Galeon. Galeon Andalucia. Andalucia, yes. and that's spelled uh, G A L E O N and A N D A L. L U C I A. Andalusia. Exactly. Con C, yes, but not with S. So Andalusia, you spell it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, because in English they say Andalusia. Yes. So this is the Spanish spelling, it's And Andalusia. So yeah, you can find out, and uh, maybe it's coming to America, Puerto Rico, different yes. places. So mm -hmm. so if you want to see the ship, maybe the if West you. Coast. Yeah, California. Mm -hmm. ah, so you could, you could even visit it. So that's, that's really good. cool. So. Fantastic, yeah. So I hope you will do that if it comes to port and uh, maybe you can meet my friend here. Yes, <laughs> maybe, cool. hopefully. Okay, <laughs> very cool. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.